you know, when I first started in philanthropy, the foundation that I was leading was less than two years old. And so if the performance imperative had been available then, I think I could have had a very nice set of tools for building a new foundation. And so not only putting that, you know, that taking, putting that light on my grantees, but also putting that mirror in front of myself uh, as a way of building my organization around the principles of high performance. And I'll speak for myself, and both Denise and I came out of philanthropy, and when I was brand new, I wasn't sure exactly how to do my job. And if I had had the performance imperative and used it as a mechanism for asking the right sets of questions of potential grantees, that would have been incredibly valuable to me, and I suspect my grantees would say that it would have been valuable to them too. We were able to do a survey of the ambassadors, and one of the things that bubbled to the surface as being an issue of utmost importance to them was their relationship with funders and trying to bring funders into the conversation about high performance in a different way. We decided to start out by talking to a lot of different funders. Uh, we talked to people about what they were doing to support nonprofits, and we learned about some amazing projects that we would like to share uh, going forward with this initiative. Um, so there are, there are pockets of, of, of activity uh, where funders are actually supporting nonprofits to build capacity for each of the pillars. Um, and, and sometimes they may be building capacity around one or two pillars. Sometimes it's a, a very uh, deep focus on, say, pillar four, building strong financial uh, capacity. But um, we think that it will be interesting to share uh, some of the findings with the field. We think that there's a lot to learn from what, from what people are doing. If we can um, encourage uh, other funders to, to look at the performance imperative as a way to help their grantees get stronger, to build their capacity, and some to even uh, go the step of using the PI to evaluate the capacity of potential grantees, I think that'll be success. And I think the ultimate success is to affect the lives of the beneficiaries on whose behalf all of their grantees work. And this is our best tool, I think, and what we can bring to bear as a community of ambassadors to the process. And I think we're not going to be ever finished. You know, the, the, the field keeps evolving, the, the world keeps evolving, and, and our tools need to keep evolving. So this is what we have today, and hopefully we, through implementation, we learn from that and we continue to make more relevant contributions to the field.